In this lesson, I'm going to cover how to create pixel art in Adobe Photoshop. In our Photoshop home screen, create new file. If this isn't in pixels, change this to pixels. Here in width, type in 20 and height 20 as well. Change resolution at 72 pixels. Make sure color mode is RGB and keep this at 8-bit. And background content is at white. So now hit create. Now it's going to look super tiny, so zoom in by using the zoom icon in the toolbar and click a few times until it's big enough. If you zoom in too much, click the minus symbol magnifying glass up here and click to zoom out. Before you start, go up here to Photoshop 2024, Settings, Guides, Grids, and Slices, and in the Grid section, make sure Grid Line Every is at 1 and Pixels is selected. Then hit OK. Now, if you're on a PC, your settings may be in a different location. So now go up to View, Show, then Grid. So now open any JPEG or PNG or even a Photoshop file. You can download an art on a site called Vect Easy and find something that's free. Or you can use any images you like that you take yourself or find online. I suggest using a cartoon character that has different colors. So I'm going to open my file. Now both files are open. I'm going to change my view so I can see it side by side. To do that, go to Window, Arrange, then 2 Up Vertical. I also reset my workspace so it goes back to its original setup. Go to Window, Workspace, and Reset Essentials. Now both images are side by side. Now make sure you're on the document where you'll be drawing. Now that this is all set up, I'm going to use my Wacom 1 tablet to create my drawing. This tablet is not necessary to complete this drawing, but it's going to be easier to do since you can draw directly on the screen and you have better control. To sample color, switch to the eyedropper tool and choose the color from your reference and switch back to the pencil tool and go to your draw document and fill in those squares. Remember, this will be a simplified version of your character, so just start laying down colors based on how your art looks. So I'm just going to keep doing this until my art looks like a pixelated version of the character. So just watch as I show you how to draw in the squares. That's it for this lesson, and I'll see you next time.